Earth, 500 million years ago, long before the first dinosaur has appeared. At that time, the land surface, swept by extreme temperatures, is so inhospitable that no animals or plants could survive here. The only animals on Earth dwell in the nurturing womb of the sea, where all life began. Many species of this period are bizarre, almost alien. Among them, one group of animals will find a way to leave this watery home. But who were the creatures that made the very first steps onto land? Their identity has long been one of the great mysteries of science. Clues that could identify the first animals on land have turned up in some surprising places. The village of Sennybridge, nestled in the Welsh countryside of the United Kingdom. Scientists are drawn to this pastoral landscape because hidden beneath it are telltale traces left by some of the first marine animals venturing onto land. Fossil evidence that could help reveal their identity. Okay, let's take a look down here. On this rocky outcrop, paleontologist Simon Brady looks for a snapshot of the early world. Ah, look what we got here. That's really quite One of the wonderful things about the science that I study is that it really is a science of discovery. I love the thrill of the chase, the idea that there is uh, a fossil somewhere out there that may be able to completely revolutionize our view of the evolution of life. Frozen in time, fossilized bodies have long provided our best window into the ancient world and its inhabitants. If an animal died in the right place and under the right set of conditions, its preserved body could gradually fuse into the surrounding rock. It could leave its mark on the world across millions of years. But Brady is not looking for dead bodies. He seeks marks left by living animals as they were invading the land. Eons ago, pioneering animals crept from the watery realm onto the new world of dry land, leaving their footprints. In some places, their tracks were preserved, perhaps by a sudden covering of volcanic ash or a landslide. Brady hunts for these tantalizing traces of ancient creatures in this rugged countryside. I find it fascinating to study the trackways of these animals because they represent these paleopolaroids or snapshots in time. You get a real feeling of the activities of these animals. It really does impress upon you the fact that these were living animals. Braddy and his colleague discover evidence of an animal invasion along an early shoreline. The problem with trackways like these is that sometimes it can be difficult to see the actual tracks. But if you rub muddy water over the surface, sometimes it can help to bring out the tracks. Though they appear small to us now, the first footprints on land were made by a giant of the time. Like a detective, Brady must now decipher the clues he's gathered to find out who created these trails. Not far from the fossil site, Brady's search continues at the University of Bristol. Here, he probes the past, not in soil or rock, but in a basement crypt. These drawers contain tons of trackway specimens collected from around the world. 
Amid this overwhelming mass of fossils, he has found a pattern revealing a secret critical to the success of the first animal on land. It walked on legs. Legs may seem mundane to us today, but Braddy wonders who first developed this radical design. Sometimes I find myself drifting off back in time 400 million years just to try and envisage what it must have been like when these trackways were being made. To determine which animal could leave trackways, Braddy surveys the possible suspects in the ancient sea. Cnidarians were the first animals to have muscles and a nervous system, and they may have been the first to actually move on their own but they never found a way to move out of the water. Ancestors of this flatworm were the first animals with heads, primitive brains, and stereo senses. Flatworms can glide along a mucus carpet, leaving a slimy trail, but they don't have legs. The group called mollusks dwells both in the sea and on land today but they move on a single foot, which doesn't leave trackways like those Brady studies. Of all the creatures present in the ancient sea, only one group had legs capable of making the fossilized tracks. They're called arthropods. And one of the secrets of their success, jointed legs. Legs which can bend about a hinged joint provide great stability and shock absorption, perfect features for an all-terrain vehicle. 